everybody, my name's Ed. Okay, so uh, we're going to do another trade review. This one's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, this is a hardcover called Century's End. It uh, has two stories by Nikki Belay and uh, Pierre Christian, The Black Order Brigade and The Hunting Party. Um, so uh, Belay has been doing comics since... I guess the early 70s, um, I'm not sure if I can pronounce the name of the magazine he started out with, I think it's Pilot, Polite, Polite, P-O-L-I-T-E, and he's probably best known for doing this right here, the uh, Nicopole uh, trilogy, um, but we'll probably talk about that sometime in the near future. Um, and let's see here, Pierre Christian has been doing comics since the uh, 60s. He co-created uh, Valerian. I'm not too familiar with Valerian. I've heard, I've heard of it. Um, I actually think they didn't they do a movie based on uh, Valerian a couple of years ago. But I've I've never read the comic or whatever. So that's something I got to catch up with uh, one of these days. So uh, the Black Order Brigade um, basically concerns this older guy. He's a reporter. And he discovers that ex-members of a right-wing uh, death squad from the Spanish Civil War is active again. And so he assembles all his old former conrades to kind of track them down. And the hunting party revolves around a group of uh, politicians getting together for a hunting trip. And they're mostly kind of left-wing or participate in uh, various left-wing communist movements, things of that nature. And through the eyes of their interpreter, we learn that most of them have become kind of corrupt turned into bureaucrats and authoritarians of otherwise uh, sold out. And the trip seems to be just these old friends getting together and swapping stories. We learned that there's kind of a, a sinister, sinister motive behind the uh, whole thing. So both of these stories are pretty much straightforward political thrillers. Um, no, not too many sci-fi elements or fantasy elements are involved here. I'd say the of the two, the Black Brigade, uh, well, the story's fun, and, but it's kind of thin. You know, I enjoyed it when I read it, but after it's over, it doesn't really stick with you. And then The Hunting Party, I liked a bit more. It's a lot more layered and textured. I wish I did know a little bit more about geopolitical history to kind of catch all the complexities and nuances. And, and some of the historical figures that uh, turn up, I'm, a, I'm familiar with. Some of them I'm, I'm not too sure about. So I almost kind of wish I could have read it in its original language, or both of these in its original language, you know, like, again, to kind of maybe pick up up on some of the nuances and characterizations that I'm sure were kind of lost in translation. But uh, just to kind of show you some of the uh, art here, this is a really well-produced um, uh, trade or, or whatever, you know, it was put out by Titan, but okay. Really interesting here. Kind of ominous. We learned that the the old guys are back up to their up to their shenanigans, right? Here's reporter guy. He's finding out what's happening. So here he's getting the band back together. Right? And as the guys, like I said, group up and move forward, they kind of realize that they're all kind of old and maybe they're not as cut out. For, uh, for this type of work as they used to be once upon a time. And like I said, it is a thriller, but it kind of turns into come on here. Oh, there we go. It kind of turns into one group of old men trying to chase down another group of old men. Here we are. We're having kind of a political rally. The Black Brigade shows up. They're shooting at people. La di da. Here we are trying to chase them down. All right. So like I said, it's fun, it's exciting, but when it's over, it's like, ah, uh, okay. Dang, all right, 
here's hunting party I enjoy this one like I said a lot more so this is like the early 80s and I think in real life oh we're starting to see parts of the Soviet uh, Empire or the Soviet bloc start to crack a little bit and that's kind of the mood here in this story here's um, there's a real interesting character he doesn't talk at all he's an older guy doesn't talk but his presence he's his presence um he's, it just it's just kind of like fills the story and and he's you know he's the big guy in the room and we catch a bit bits and glimpses of his old dreams and flashbacks as well you know he's somebody who's been around since the early days of the uh russian revolution meeting Lenin and Stalin and all these guys. And we know he's had dealings and shenanigans uh, and, uh, with a lot of the guys that show up, uh, show up for, this, uh, for this hunting trip or whatever. You know, they all hold him in reverence, right? But who knows what he's really thinking. We've got some purges going on here. Again, historical figures. And here's this old love who has disappeared and nobody knows what happened to her. Of course, we learn a little bit later exactly what did happen to her. Here's our young interpreter guy. Here we see people getting hauled away. All these former revolutionaries are kind of living in luxury now. They're drinking their wine, going on their little trips. Ah, our exquisite hunting birds. And oh, the symbolism. La di da. Just really nice art. I really love this art. It really feels kind of, I don't know, for lack of a better word, lived in. It's, it's gritty, it's thick. It's, I don't know, I guess lived in. Is this the word I want to use? And, and of course, you know, we're dealing with uh, with older people. So, you know, middle-aged people, in some cases, elderly people. So it's going to have a different feel than, you know, some other more glamorous type of, you know, action-adventure type comic or whatever. Here we are, we're getting old stories about, you know, meetings and back rooms and things and, we find out later there's setups for assassinations and whatnot. So this one, like I said, I really did enjoy. You know, let's kind of let's not give everything away here. In the back, we've got kind of uh, we got kind of an interview here with the creators, and they talk about meeting each other and how you know their skills complement each other and. What they do to uh, work together. This is the next one I got to get. The town that doesn't exist. This is this is a cover for a hunting party, original cover for hunting party. Black Brigade, another cover for a hunting party, and that's pretty much it. So, like I said, I really did enjoy this. This was a lot of fun. So that's it. So in this century awesome really interesting you want to pick up something different you want to talk about political thrillers or whatever that are actually about politics as opposed to well let's not even get into that but an actual political thriller that's about politics and 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 you know social changes and and you know the world seen through different uh different eyes and whatnot so anyway that's that's it i'm rambling on now so that's it thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it you guys have a good day